we interrupt our two hour long discussion about Taylor Swift's favorite letter of the alphabet to give you breaking news. Here to present is a video of a woman I found on the internet. Yeah, it seems the internet sensation Floofy Bones with over 200 sexy subscribers have recently gone absolutely bonkers in the brain after recently being arrested for attempting to climb the walls of Fort Knox. Quote, just like how that one chick from that one Marvel movie described it. That movie, of course, being Sony Pictures' latest movie, Madam Web. When asked why he absolutely went bonkers, he had this to say. For his admittedly very silly actions, he will be sentenced until Marvel stops crushing the balls of every comic book fan in the world. More on the story as it develops. Back to you, Gary. My, my name's Frank. Anyway, this has been Floofy News. Wait, hold on. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. Robert, what's with that graphic? What? You'll eat when I say you'll eat! I'll get back to work! Hi, hello, uh, how you doing? Uh, hey, uh, sorry I can't be here in person for the video. I I seem to have gotten arrested. I don't know, you. It's, it's on the news and everything. But don't worry, don't worry. I, I pre-recorded a review of Madam Web before, you know, <laughs> I went crazy. <laughs> so yeah, I'll send you the video and remember, with great responsibility comes great power. <laughs> That's what the movie said. <laughs> That's what the movie said. <laughs> So I just saw Madam Web, the uh, new Marvel movie. Oh, I'm sorry, the, no, the new Sony movie. These Sony Spider-Man movies have really just been complete and utter, like, hilarity from start to finish. We've got that really funny Venom movie He's I didn't so watch. Awesome. We got that really funny Morbius movie that I didn't watch either. Why? Because mental health matters, people. Take care of yourself. Don't watch Morbius. But Madam Web... This movie stuck out to me. Maybe because Adam Scott is in it and Parks and Rec is like my favorite show. Or maybe it's just the countless number of just brain melting quotes this movie has. All of these combined elements made this movie something that you just had to see. And I saw it. <laughs> I saw it. All right. Just I can't believe that there's a top 10 list of this. <laughs> Hope the spiders were worth it, mom. You, you saved, saved my, my stepmother. stepmother. <laughs> then you were super <laughs> awkward about it. Who is this woman? Is this Amy Adams? Check his abdomen. She looks like she doodles and watches FNAF videos. She looks like... <laughs> or my water bro. <laughs> what the heck is... What? Woman humor. Do you know if you can climb a web or wall if you never try? <laughs> That's Have a good, that's a good point. You know, hold on. Let me, let me, let me try real quick. You need to get, you need to find bi spiders and just get bitten by them. Me, I have like 700, like 70 bug bites across my body. <laughs> One of them's got to be radioactive. If my your bodies. heart starts back up again, you're fine. Too true. <laughs> when you take the responsibility, great power. <laughs> <laughs> that's, yeah. Everyone knows that classic Spider-Man quote. All right, let's just get one thing straight. All right, the writing sucks. I feel for none of these characters. Besides Ben and his sister-in-law, kind of? The three teenagers that Cassie tries to save from the not Spider-Man are just incredibly not fleshed out at all. We've got this like smart Hispanic woman, some rich black girl, and like a goody two-shoes redhead. And they really aren't anything besides that. You just don't believe that these three girls are good friends by the end of the movie. The movie doesn't really give them time to grow as a team. In fact, it's not really a team. Like, the girls don't really do anything in the movie. They are such useless bags of meat. They don't do anything helpful by themselves. Oh, and Cassie herself is just so unlikable. She's just brittled with sarcasm, but not in like a charming way, like the movie's definitely trying to make it be. The way Dakota Johnson delivers every line of dialogue has the charm of a stink line from a cartoonishly expired sandwich. Plus, I don't blame her in CIS ass performance because the material she had to work with is monumentally hilarious. There is this scene in the movie where she's like going through her mother's journal. It, you know, the mom who was in the Amazon researching spiders right, right before, before she died. died. And her cat is walking up to her and she just says, Not now, cat. <laughs> That that almost broke me, dude. Cassie's character arc, dude. She doesn't even have one. I guess it revolves around her mother. I mean, I'm not gonna spoil anything. 
<laughs> Sorry, I, I'm not going to spoil Madam Web for you guys. Oh my god, the villain is so funny. Probably the most unintentionally funny villain ever in cinema. He's just a paranoid psychopath who always talks like this and talks about his nightmares about teenagers killing him to his one night stands. As we all do, of course. I heard some people on the internet discuss his ADR and just like saying how bad it was, but oh my god, it is nothing short of just beautiful. You could hear him say complete sentences and his mouth would just not move at all. This is an 80 million dollar Movie. That alone just had me rolling on the floor in the theater. The theater itself was just so empty. Probably because there was this troll who was standing in front of the ticket venue just screaming, If you want to watch Madam Web, answer these riddles three and I'll send you ahead. And I said to him, I was like, dude, th that doesn't even rhyme. What are you, stupid? But of course that hurt his feelings and he just fell on the floor crying so I was able to walk past him. There is just one thing I can kind of praise the movie for and, and it's Madam Web's power itself. This sequences involving her future vision were, I'm a mitt, pretty cool. I'm just a sucker for powers that have to do with time. It's why I love Jojo so much. But I'm gonna say the power itself is pretty inconsistent. Like sometimes it would show what would happen in the future without her involvement, so she would make a change in the present to prevent the future from happening. But when later, it would show a future that shows her involvement already, and she would make a change in the present so that it would match her involvement in the future. Like, like there's this vision where she escapes in a helicopter. She sees it in the future where she is escaping a helicopter. She has no access to a helicopter at the time. So what she does is that she now knows to call a helicopter to come rescue her. So the helicopter wouldn't come to rescue her without her involvement, but she wouldn't have known to be involved if she didn't see the future that already showed her involvement. Oh, I'm so tired. Can we talk about the ending real quick? So apparently the bad guy gets taken out in this movie by a like a falling S like logo out of the Pepsi sign. Yeah, so my friend was right. And does he say all oh, S <laughs> like like Stan Pines? Like what the H? <laughs> yeah, no, I know I know what you're talking about. Madam Web pulls a shonen protagonist move out of nowhere and just releases her special ability at the last second, which is just like a bunch of ghosts of her. It Okay, and she kills the bad guy with the power of capitalism, yippee! Which, can I just say, the bad guy's motivation makes no sense! You telling me that you want to kill three girls because they're apparently going to kill you in the future? Even though they have no reason to kill you in the first place? Make no sense! I'm going insane! They used to be on the side of like, you know, SAG-AFTRA and they're like AI strike, but you know, Maybe some of those writers don't deserve a job. You know? <laughs> I swear to you, this is not written by people. This is not written by human <laughs> beings. Overall, I give WebMD my very first rating of one popcorn bag in a big container of Tylenol. Mm, now I'm in the mood to travel. Shit, you know, I heard Fort Knox is pretty popular this time of year.